Hello again, friends. Well, this is the day my mom would have turned 100 years old. She almost made it. She went to heaven to be with Jesus on February 4, just three months ago. So today is a day of mixed emotions, as you can imagine. My last conversation with mom was all about heaven and what she would see and experience. And so in honor of her, and even more so in honor of all God has waiting for us that Jesus paid such a great price for us to experience, let's think a bit about heaven today. Listen to these words. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven like a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. I saw no temple in the city, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. And the city has no need of sun or moon, for the glory of God illuminates the city and the Lamb is its light. The nations will walk in its light, and the kings of the world will enter the city in all their glory. Its gates will never be closed at the end of the day, because there's no night there. And all the nations will bring their glory and honor into the city. Nothing evil will be allowed to enter, nor anyone who practices shameful idolatry and dishonesty, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Heavenly Father, our hearts are lifted up as we think about the beauty of heaven and the life we will have with you there forever. So many, like my mom, are already in your presence because we know, absent from the body, present with the Lord. We try to imagine the joy and beauty of it all, but it's beyond our ability. And so today all we want to do is to allow the wonder of your love for us and your great plans to fill our hearts and inform how we live today. Whatever tears or death or sorrow or crying or pain we're enduring in these days, help us to put them into the perspective of these days when they will be no more. Amen. You know, one of the jokes we had with mom when we were pretty sure her hours were short and the, that she would be celebrating her 100th birthday in heaven was that she must be thinking that God was a better party planner than we were. Well, she had it right, didn't she? Let's remember heaven today. Have a great day.